Ahoy, it's Petra Predictions here. Okay, a relatively straightforward group for Qatar, not gonna lie. India might have some issues, but at the end of the day, I do see Qatar top in the group in first, India coming in second without any real issue, both teams making it to the next round. I think this group will be much tighter than people realize, and especially if Japan are wanting to test out players, I think Syria and even North Korea could really challenge them at some point. But at the end of the day, it is home and away fixtures, it's World Cup quality, so I do expect Japan to top the group with relative ease and Syria coming in second reaching the next stage. Group C, I think it'll be a really close and good battle for that second place, but I do see South Korea top in the group with ease, and I see Thailand coming in second ahead of China, actually. And that's because I feel like Thailand, against teams of their caliber, they do quite well and then get hammered by a much stronger team. But China, they're really inconsistent. They don't even do that well against teams of their caliber. Group D, this will be the closest group amongst all the other groups in this round. Oman is the weakest pot one team. I do think they might stumble and have a bit of issues and it will be really close and the point differences may even be one point between second place and third place or that particular win. However though, I do see Oman topping the group in first and then Kurdistan coming in second, both reaching the next stage. Group E it has two very strong teams from pot one and pot two. I think this group will be quite skewed, but however, the games against Iran and Uzbekistan will be very interesting to see because that is genuine preparation for the next round and the remainder of the qualifiers for both teams. Though I do see Iran topping the group comfortably in first and Uzbekistan coming in second quite comfortably both reaching the next round. Group F. This group is particularly interesting as it's very similar to Group D in the 2024 Asian Cup Finals and my predictions for that was ballsy to say. Some weren't agreeing with me. I expect expected some surprises in that group. However, because this is World Cup qualifiers, it's Robin round, home and away fixtures, I don't really see there being surprises. Therefore, I see Iraq top in the group in first and Vietnam coming in second and both teams go into the next round. Group G, similar to Group B e of how Pot 1 and Pot 2 teams in this group are actually really strong. Again, good preparation for Saudi Arabia and Jordan for the remainder of the qualifiers to prove themselves as well. I do see this being another skewed group and I do see Saudi Arabia topping the group with ease, Jordan coming in second with ease, both reaching the next round. Group H, this is probably the weakest group in the whole of the qualifiers this round and whichever two teams qualify from this round, I think will actually do bad in the next round as this is bad preparation for it really, to be honest. However, I do see UAE topping the group with ease, yeah, and Bahrain coming in second, both reaching the next round. Group I, similar to Group C, how I think it's that second spot that will be really close and competitive. It could be a difference of one point or even down to goal difference. Though I do see Australia top in the group with ease and I see Lebanon coming in second just ahead of Palestine. It's a really close call. I'm still not really sure. But the reason I've chosen Lebanon over Palestine is because I feel like they've done better in qualifiers of recent than Palestine. But it really could go either way. There you have my predictions of the second round in the Asian 2026 World Cup qualifiers. Do you think there'll be any surprises even in the second round of the Asian qualifiers? Do you think there will be a pot one team that fails to make it to the next round? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.